Hi and welcome. My name is Derek Finlinson. I'm with Journey Team and today I will be uh, demoing a, a great new product that we have developed in-house for fill service serialized inventory uh, for Dynamics 365. Uh, so fill service by default has some, some built-in inventory management for your products and we have added serialized inventory on top of that. So serialized inventory allows you to track your products, not just at the product level, but at the individual item level. So you can track each specific item from purchasing all the way through your sales process or your you know, work order product, use product process. Um, so we'll go over some of the, the awesome features that this provides. So for your products, to mark them as serialized, Uh, there's just a checkbox added on the form here, mark that as serialized. That will um, enable the serializ serialization features for that product. When that's enabled, you will get these new subgrids that will give you a list of all the available serial numbers for that product and the uh, inventory journals so you can track each serial number and uh, it's history of transactions from you know, purchase orders to inventory transfers um, through any, any transaction you may perform on that serial number. Uh, you can also view a list of all your serial numbers um, from here under sales serial numbers. This is all the serial numbers we have in the system. If we pull one up we can see some of the details about that serial number. You can see it's uh, currently in the main warehouse. It is on hand, not allocated to any transaction. You can also track the cost of that serial number when it was first purchased and the current cost based on the uh, transaction history. You also see a list here of that, the inventory journals for that specific serial number and the history of its movement. So to initially get your serial numbers into the system, you'll normally do one of two things. You'll either do a inventory adjustment, which means you already have the serial number in your warehouse and you just need to add it to Dynamics 365, or you are purchasing a new product that is serialized and you need to include those when you receive the product. So we'll just do a quick demo, show it, um, receiving a purchase order with serialized products. So we're going to do purchase orders. I already got one created here. We'll pull that up. So we have a list here of pending products haven't been received yet. We'll go over to our purchase order receipt. Add a new purchase order receipt product. Let's we'll choose a serialized part. So we picked the part, it recognized that that part is serialized and brought up this serial numbers view for us. So since this is a, a purchase order and a new, new serial numbers, they don't have any, any serial numbers available to select here. If you're doing you know, inventory transfer or other transactions, it'll give you a list of your current serial numbers that are in, in that warehouse and let you select those. We're doing all new serial numbers, so we'll just enter some new serial numbers here. And we have a quantity of five here. Let's just do all five of those, receive them all at once. So there is our five serial numbers. We've entered those in. And uh, just to note too, these text boxes will work with barcode scanners. That's normally what you'll be using from your, your warehouses when you receive product or transferring items. You can just scan the barcode. It'll fill those in for you. So we go ahead and save that. And what that'll do, it'll just do the, the default fill service process, which is to create an inventory journal. And then it will also create a serialized inventory journal for each serial number, create that serial number in the system and link it to the product. So if we go from here, pull up the product, scroll down to our serial numbers, we see we have our new serial numbers created in the system. They're linked to the product and they are currently in our receiving inspection warehouse where we receive those those products. So at this point you may want to then transfer that that product from your receiving warehouse into your your main warehouse or a different warehouse. 
So if we go on field service, we'll do an inventory transfer. We already have a transfer set up here from receiving inspection to our main warehouse, so we'll pull that one up. We will add a new product. Uh, so we'll pick our CP1 we just added. We're gonna do a quantity of three. And again, recognize it serialized and pulls up our, our serial number control here. So you can see here we have our list of these are all our serial numbers that are currently in the receiving inspection warehouse. We don't have too many. If you had a lot, you can filter this list down based on the serial number. If you're looking for a specific one, uh, let's go ahead and bring one over. So I put in a quantity of three. Since I only selected one, if I try and save, so we'll add a new, a new product to this inventory transfer. I'll pick a serialized part here, pulls in my unit, we'll do just a quantity of one. So then it has here a list of all the serial numbers that are available in that warehouse for me to transfer. Um, so pick, pick that one to move over. Uh, you notice I pick two, we have a quantity of one. It will not let me continue saying you've selected two serial numbers, but you've only put in a quantity of one. So. We'll cool that one out and just do that one. I'll save that. So that in the background has created another serial journal and moved uh, that serial number from the receiving inspection warehouse to the main, main warehouse. Uh, we can validate that. Uh, if we go back into the serial numbers list, So this is one, one, two. And we can see it's now in our main warehouse and we have our uh, inventory journal right there. So the process is pretty simple, straightforward. It uses um, you know, space field service as much as possible. Only, only deviate where we need to select the serial numbers. And that um, the process will be, will be the same no matter what kind of transaction you're performing. So whether you're receiving your purchase orders or doing inventory transfer adjustment, work order product, the process will be the same, have that same control where you can select the serial numbers you're using on that transaction. Uh, let's currently look at a work order product that's a little unique compared to other transactions. Let's see, so we've got this work order here. Go down to our products. We'll add, we'll add any work order product here. So we'll add our serialized part. We're gonna ship it from our main warehouse. And we're gonna do the quantity of one. So there again, we get our serial numbers, selection window. So as I, as I mentioned, most uh, transactions will be the same where you know you pick your serial numbers, move them over and, and post that transaction. Work orders are a little different in that you can, you can pick a serial number and it may not use that in the end. So you can select a serial number, you decide not to use it, you move it back. So while that serial number is selected before you post the work order product, it will be allocated. So if we pull up a serial number here, You'll see we have this is allocated field that only applies for work order products. So uh, you select a serial number on a work order product, this will get marked allocated, which means no one else can use that serial number on a different transaction. And then once you've, you finish your, your work order and you post those products, it'll clear that out and go ahead and perform the transaction and move and take that serial number out of stock and add it to the customer asset. Uh, so that's kind of a high level view of the available features and, and what this serialized inventory solution does. And it's available on AppSource. If uh, you need to contact us to get more information, we'd be, be glad to help you out and see if it's a good fit for your business. Thanks.